Hi everyone, welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am here to explain Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2022 Paper 31 Spreadsheet Part. So this is May June series and uh, I am going to solve the spreadsheet part for today. So it says that you are going to create a spreadsheet to display data about safety equipment required for a hot air balloon. So open and examine the file j31 table.csv. So we will have the file here table.csv. Just double click and see what does it consist of. So right now this is what it consists of some information related to different kind of uh, yeah okay about some kind of uh, balloon health and their safety fine then it says that open and examine the file g31 balloon.csv in a spreadsheet package and save this as a spreadsheet with the file name balloon underscore followed by your center number your candidate number for example like this so we will try to open this one excel file as well here it is so this is how it look like now we will uh, save this file first as a workbook or as a spreadsheet so we will open this one then we will save it as and I am going to save it with the name balloon then after underscore your center number and then your candidate number okay it should be capital B and then I am going to save this one as excel workbook in the same folder so it is saved now next step they ask you to do what to place in the header left align your name center number and candidate number so just go there you will include the header and footer here or you just simply go here and then click on print then we have page setup header so custom header on the left side they mention that your name then your center number and your candidate number so this is what they want in the left side then right align the automated file name with no file path so only the file name without file path so here we have file path here we have file name this is what they need only so file name with no file path that's it click on ok just click ok you will find them here the file name with the center number candidate number with your name as well okay if i can zoom it in you can see like this fine next step we need to start with intra formula in cell b5 to look up the equipment item using the item number in cell b4 for the value and the external file j31 table.csv for the array so we will just go to our file here we'll just click in b5 then we will use a function equal to vlookup here it is then the lookup value is going to be the value in b4 comma the table array that we have it is here in this file j31 table you select these two columns and then just put a comma and the index value is 2 as you can see and do you want exact match or approximate match so we always need an exact match you can write 0 or you can type false so when you press enter you will get here the detail about the item 
right so this is what you got then next step enter a formula in cell b7 to display the date and name of the employee who checked the item of safety equipment so using the balloon name item number and external file j31 table.csv so in this case what we need to do is actually we we'll just go to our column here in checked in we will write the function equal to v lookup again this time we will look at the value the balloon name as they said and then comma we will go to our table so the balloon name is here and then after uh, we have uh, here the value form d to q because you need to get all the details so we'll just click here from d and then we will move towards e f g h i j k l m n o p and then q and then we will select the value till q 11 all this value that we have to select and then after we will just move forward with something called here a comma the column index so the column index we will look at the value available in b4 okay sorry not here i mean we need to go to this sheet back again yes so then we will look at the item number and then plus one okay so just keep on adding one to each one and then comma zero means approximate uh, exact match and close the bracket and press enter so you will get here the date as well as uh, the time and who is the uh, author at the time everything is you can see here so why I have used plus one here because if you look at the values available uh, in the list that we have the item number so we just added one to it so it keep on going to the other uh, cell as well so this is what they mentioned here now moving forward they mention print your spreadsheet showing the formula so go to your spreadsheet then click on view and then we have an option formula then just click on show formula <clears throat> this is how it look like this is our whole function that we had here okay we need to take the print out of them and it should be in the landscape orientation the row and column headings are visible or displayed so file then click on print it should be landscape orientation and then page setup we should have the page column and row headings as you can see you will find them here so now it is ready to be printed out and then the content should be fully visible so as you can see all the contents are fully visible on this printout so this is your printout moving forward to next question they said enter into cell b3 the text beta so we'll go back here and instead of eta right now we will enter the text beta so when we enter the text beta and enter into cell b4 the number 2 so here we will enter number 2 so you see all the details got changed uh, now this time you need to print again the entire spreadsheet with all the uh, information but it should fit on a single page all the content should be fully visible and rows and column headings are not required so we will just click here on the excel sheet file print 
it should be portrait orientation and then there should not be any row and column heading this time and it will be printed as it is and then that's the printout 3 and that's the end of spreadsheet part of this question paper so thanks for watching and hope you have learned about how to deal with the excel and spreadsheet functions in the excel part of this question paper thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates